Looking for the best computer speakers? Here I have made the list of the top 5 best computer speakers in the market that are worth buying. Let's get started with the video. Number 5 Klipsch is the 5's expertly blend the best of both worlds. They are equipped with a wide variety of inputs, including HDMI arc, that fall in line with the modern day sounder. But, instead of the sound being produced from a singular piece of equipment, the 5's achieves the perfect stereo separation that has long been a custom characteristic of a great pair of speakers. The 5's have plenty of power to complement your computer with excellent, room filling sound. Thanks to ultra-low noise amplifiers that are built specifically to maximize performance without the need for an external app. They aren't just for computers, though. The 5s are versatile enough to work alongside everything from turntables to TVs, smartphones and more. Plus, they offer the ability to add a powered subwoofer in the mix, in case you're searching for more low end than the 5s 4.5 inches long throughout woofers are capable of. Additionally. It would be a mistake to omit the classic aesthetic exuded by the Fives. They take inspiration from vintage Klipsch speakers, with the drivers enclosed in the handcrafted wood cabinet that's available in either a walnut veneer or matte black finish. At the end of the day, the Fives offer an intriguing combination of technology, quality and design, and they should be perfectly at home on the left and right sides of monitors everywhere. Number 4 you're just plugging in your laptop at your desk, or you just prefer a minimalist desktop, the Creative Pebble V3 is a great option. The fact that they also happen to be affordable is a nice bonus. These little wonders provide 8 watts of consistent RMS power, with a peak output of 16 watts. This power flows to the 2.25 inch driver in each speaker, which is larger than the V2. Combined with the power, Creative claims on its Amazon page that the Pebble V3 is twice as loud as the previous version. If you're going for a minimal setup, the easiest way to plug in the Creative Pebble V3 is USB-C. Don't worry if you've got an older PC or laptop though, as Creative has included a USB adapter to make sure that you can use these speakers, regardless of what kind of computer you have. Do you prefer a more traditional connection? No problem. You can plug the Pebble V3 in with an included 3.5mm speaker cable. If you prefer not to use wires at all, you can also connect via Bluetooth 5. The Pebble speakers use a unique 45 degree elevated driver. This helps get the sound from the tiny speakers more directly to your ears. To make sure you're not missing any details from your YouTube videos, the Pebble V3 also includes clear dialogue audio processing to make sure that voices come through loud and clear. Again, we're looking at the standard black model here, which is the more common version. If you'd rather your speakers stick out, you can also opt for the white version. Number 3 Looking at the Audio Engine A2 Plus, you might mistake them for a larger set of speakers than they actually are, as they look like they belong in your home theatre setup. Don't let the smaller size fool you, however, these speakers pack some serious sound quality, regardless of their physical size. The Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers have a tiny footprint, with each speaker only measuring 6x4x5.25 inches, but they're more powerful than meets the eye. These speakers pack 60 watts of Class AB power into 2.75-inch aramid fiber drivers and 0.75-inch silk dome tweeters. These speakers aim to bring the high-quality audio. Audio Engine's largest speakers are known for into a smaller format, and they achieve impressive results. Even the bass is impressive for the size, though if you feel like you need more, you can easily pair these with the Audio Engine S6 subwoofer. No matter how you want to connect the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers to your computer, you can probably do it. In addition to a digital USB connection, you can connect analog audio via the 3.5mm input jack or via the RCA inputs on the back of the speaker. If you'd rather connect digitally, you can opt for Bluetooth, with the aptX codec ensuring high quality sound. 
You can also opt to plug your speakers into your computer and use Bluetooth to stream music from your phone when you want to kick back and relax. The Audio Engine A2 Plus comes in the standard black finish, but if you prefer more color, it's also available in red and white varieties. Number 2 The Companion 2 Series 3 represents the best desktop speakers for most people. The 7.5x5.9x3.1-inch satellites don't take up much space on your desk, but they create a big, full sound. The price won't break the bank, and it's worth the premium over cheaper units. Remember, too, that you're also paying for the brand name, and Bose generally doesn't come cheap. It produces more bass than speakers twice the size, and with robust vocals and pleasing treble, it delivers very good sound overall. The simple and elegant design features a single volume knob on the right speaker along with a headphone jack so you don't have to disconnect the speakers to listen privately. These speakers don't give you any way to adjust the bass or treble, but with the well-balanced sound, you likely won't miss that feature. Number 1 I couldn't recommend any computer speakers any more than these, and that's because these ended up being my long-time speakers at my desk at home. The G560S not only sound great, but they also look great too. It's ideal if you want to ditch the gaming headset for a while and play it fast and loose with your volume dial. Chances are you either love or hate RGB lighting. The PC gamer office is generally divided on this topic too, but there's one thing we can agree on, Logitech's G560 lights and feature is anything but gimmicky. If there's one RGB product I can recommend that will impact your PC gaming experience, this one. Logitech's software allows you to choose between two control modes for the speakers. Hardware control ditches the software and uses Bluetooth or AUX input for lighting. You get a gentle rainbow color cycle that acts as an audio visualizer, which flashes and brightens to the music's beat. The software control allows you to choose between fixed color color cycle, breathing, audio visualizer, and screen sampler lighting modes. The screen sampler, however, is where the G560 shines. Like ambient TV backlighting products, the software takes user-defined screen areas. It extends the colors outwards to create an immersive lighting experience like Philips Ambilight Tech on TVs. Since a good portion of this effect relies on the rear-facing LEDs, the speakers need to be positioned beside your display with their back against a wall to get the best result. Get it right, though, and the effect is incredible. Fundamentally, though, the audio quality and clean-cut design have these speakers stand out among the crowd. I love how they sound out of the box, but you can also tweak them within the Logitech G-Hub app. There's a lot of bass on offer, but the tweeters are just as capable of throwing out excellent audio. Even when set to low volume on your PC, these speakers may struggle to keep the noise down, but I didn't pick them for calm and quiet gaming. No, we love the Logitech G560's powerful audio and surprisingly refined RGB lighting. If both of those sound good to you, look no further. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helped you. If you found this video useful, Please don't forget to like comments and subscribe so you don't miss anything. We'll see you next time.